In the collection of women's land army uniform at the Museum of English Rural Life lie a somewhat unusual and intriguing pair of shorts. The land girl of the Second World War, in distinctive corduroy breeches and a green jumper, has become an iconic image. But the land girl in shorts? Now that's not the loved and recognised image we all know. And in official records of the uniform provided to the land army, shorts are never mentioned. So how has Mel got a pair? These were donated to the museum in 1988 by the husband of Doreen Thorpe, a member of the Land Army from 1939 to 1947. Doreen made these shorts out of an official pair of dungarees. You can see the same fastenings on the side of both items. Tearing the dungarees or going through at the knees was not uncommon, so many land girls would have done the same as Doreen. In an era of rationing and make-do and mend, they often didn't have a lot of choice, experiencing frequent shortages of uniforms. The problems stem largely from wartime cotton shortages, a vital resource not only in uniform, but in civilian clothing and things such as tyres and tents. The Women's Land Army, being a civilian rather than a state organisation, also had to take a back seat behind war production and the armed forces, whose uniform required the same materials and manufacture. Land girls, then, were often faced with insufficient uniform supplies, and as with the rest of the country who were subject to strict regulations under rationing, the homemade and patched up became commonplace. The Land Girl magazine regularly instructed the girls to preserve their clothes and effect necessary alterations themselves, and gave tips on how to make their uniform last longer. These tips, however, were for waterproofing gum boots, reversing collars or patching, for example. Land girls were never encouraged to convert their dungarees into shorts. In fact, shorts were considered incorrect and were not approved of by the authorities. Yet Doreen Thorpe's shorts are the most worn item in the collection. She clearly wasn't afraid to break the rules. Indeed, the land girls had a bit of a reputation for jazzing up or tinkering with their uniform. They would wear their hat, for example, tilted backwards or with ribbons tied around it instead of squarely on top of the head as the officials assisted. It is likely that the land girls found the shorts more fashionable and appealing, and certainly cooler in the summer months, as well as a chance to catch tan. Evidently, while the land girls had much pride in their uniform, wearing it even when they were out, when it came to the uniform they worked in, they had little regard for the official rules. So these shorts provide insights into many of the land girls' experiences during the Second World War. Engagement with them can enrich our understanding of a women's war service, which received official recognition only just over 10 years ago, 63 years after the war's end. To see Doreen Thorpe's shorts and the rest of the uniform collection, contact the Museum of English Royal Life.